Good morning, today's lesson is 5.5. Problem solving percents. Our essential question, how can you use the strategy, use a model to help you solve percent problems? Unlock the problem. The recommended daily amount of protein is about 50 grams. One super protein cereal bar contains 16% of that amount of protein. If Stefan eats one super protein cereal bar per day, how much protein will he need to get from the other sources to meet the recommended daily amount? Use the graphic organizer to help you solve the problem. Well, what do I need to find? What do you need to find? You need to find the difference between the recommended daily amount of protein and the amount of in the cereal bar. What information do I need to use? You need to use the recommended daily amount, which was 50 grams, and the cereal bar, which contains 16% of that. How will you use the information? Well, you can draw a model to find the amount of protein in the cereal bar and subtract that amount from the recommended daily amount. So the recommended daily amount is 50 grams. So this model is gonna show that I need 1% of 50, right? So what I'm gonna do, let me move it over here, is gonna be, so if I do 50 over 100, right, I'm gonna get 0 0.50, which is gonna be 1% of 50. And then if, if on, on the cereal bar, I need 16% of 50, so 16 times the 50 cents is gonna give me eight, right? So cereal bar is gonna contain eight grams of protein. And then I take the 50 and I minus the eight, 50 minus eight, and I'm gonna get 42. So 42 grams of protein should come from the other sources. Let's share and show. A geologist visits 40 volcanoes in Alaska and California. 15% of the volcanoes are in California. How many volcanoes does the geologist visit in California and how many in Alaska? First, we're gonna draw the bar model. So we have 40 volcanoes, so then that's our 100%. California is 15%, so there's my 15%, and I'm trying to find out what this missing number is. 100%, so if I, if I just wanna know 1% of the 40, I put the 40 over 100, right? And I'm gonna get 0 0.40, because basically you move the decimal over two places, right? Then I'm gonna find the 15% for California. So I'm gonna take 15, and I'm gonna times, the, I'm gonna times that 0 0.40 that I got, and I'm gonna end up with six. And then in order to find the difference, I'm gonna to have to subtract. So the, um, I'm gonna to have to subtract the, whoops. They visited six, right? And, um, oops, there we go. So they visited six, six volcanoes in California. Remember there was 40 before. So if I take 40 and I minus the six, then I'm gonna get 34 volcanoes, right? Now, what if the 30% of the volcanoes were in California? How many volcanoes would the geologists have visited in California and how many in Alaska? Well, they would have visited 12 in California and 28 in Alaska. Ricardo has $25 to spend on school supplies. He spends 72% of the money on a backpack and the rest on a large binder. How much does he spend on the backpack and how much does he spend on the binder? So if he spends 72%, right? basically move the decimal over two, so I point seven two. I'm gonna multiply that times the 25. 7.2 uh, times 25 is gonna be 18. And then I take the 25 and I subtract the 18 and I get seven, okay? Uh, Kevin's hiking on a trail 4.2 miles long. So far he's hiked 80% of the distance. How many more miles does Kevin have to hike in order to complete the trail? So I'm gonna take the 4.2, whoops. I'm gonna take the 4.2, and I'm gonna multiply it times 80%, basically 0 0.80, okay? And when I multiply that, I get 3.36. Um, and then how many more miles does he have? Well, I'm gonna take the 4.2, and I'm gonna subtract the 3.36, and I'm gonna end up with 0.84 miles, all right? The rest is gonna be on your own, good luck.